Following the deaths of 26 teenage Nigerian girls who died in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Italy on Sunday, the Senate has blamed the federal government for the harsh economic situation in the country, which they said caused a tragedy. To this effect, the upper chamber has mandated its committee on diaspora, foreign affairs and special duties to investigate the circumstances leading to the murder of 26 young Nigerian girls. The decision followed a motion sponsored by Senator Rose Oko from Cross River North who brought to the attention of the Senate the reported gruesome death of 26 Nigerian girls aged between 14 and 18 discovered in a Spanish warship Canterbury. She called on the Senate to take proactive measures and go beyond mere feelings of horror to take in urgent steps towards addressing the root causes of the mass exodus of Nigerians to Europe. The Senate is horrified that on, May, on Monday 6th of November 2017, international and national media reported a gruesome story of the dead bodies of 26 young Nigerian girls of ages 14 to 18, discovered in a Spanish warship, Cantabria, carrying 375 migrants. 23 of them had been on a rubber boat with 64 others. In his contribution, Shehu Sani Senator representing Kaduna Central, who also condemned in strong terms the death of the teenage girls, called on government to provide a conducive environment for development of youth in the country. The problem before us is the problem within us. Government after government, we refuse to act. In the last 10 years, over 10,000 Africans perished along that route. And it is unfortunate for the African Union, ECOWAS, and the government of Nigeria are still waiting for somebody to do something somewhere. Some of the members advised that the Senate should carry out a thorough investigation of the matter as a parliament and gather enough information before taking any further step. Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Ekwere Madu, who also condemned the tragedy Vice governments at both federal and state levels to tackle the rising rate of unemployment in the country and provide basic needs. It is important for us to think of how to provide some social security uh, for our people, you know, if it means taxing the rich more in order to provide for the poor. And that's what is happening in most of the countries of the world. We must make sure that every Nigerian will have opportunity of having some food on the table every day and be able to go to school, be able to afford the uh, treatment when he's ill. So these are basic things I'm sure that the government owes to the people and we must be able to ensure that this gets across to everybody. Meanwhile, an Egyptian and Libyan national have been reportedly arrested by the Italian authorities in connection with the incident. Jamila Fegwa, Core TV News, Abuja.